Hello friends, welcome to my lab. In this video, I will show you the parallel operation of two single phase transformer and the load shared by the transformers. If you love my video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's switch on. So, before performing the experiment, we have to perform the polarity test of the transformer. I have already shown the polarity test in my previous video. You can find the link in description. Without the polarity test, we cannot perform the parallel operation of the transformers. So the test is most vital. You can find the link and please watch it before watching this video. And now you can see this is the transformers for parallel operation. And I have used 230 volt by 115 volt cell type transformer. And I have already done the polarity test on this transformer and marked the polarity as dot. You can see the dot signs are marked on the transformer and this is the resistive load i have connected across the two transformers and those transformers will give the supply to this load parallelly and this is the single phase variac for supplying voltage to the primary sides of the transformers and you can see this is the watt meter for measuring the output power of the transformer one the multiplying factor of the watt meter is two and this is the watt meter for measuring the power of the second transformer and the multiplying factor is 2 that means we have to multiply 2 with the reading of the meter and this is the watt meter for measuring the total power output by the two transformers and the multiplying factor is also 2. Now you can see this is the ammeter for measuring the secondary load current of the first transformer and this ammeter will measure the secondary load current of the second transformer and this is the ammeter for measuring the total load current supplied by the two transformers when those are operated in parallel and now you can see this is the voltmeter for measuring the secondary side voltage of the first transformer and this is the voltmeter for measuring the secondary side voltage of the second transformer and this is the digital multimeter i have used as voltmeter for measuring the voltage across the load and i have used another digital multimeter for measuring the voltage across the supply side that means the across the variac it will measure the input voltage of the transformers. So this is our experimental setup for this test of parallel operation of the two single phase transformer. And you can see there is a MCB I have connected for switching the two transformer in parallel. When we need to operate the transformer parallelly, we have to switch on this MCB. Before performing the experiment, let's understand the circuit and make it virtually. First of all, let's understand what is the parallel operation and basic connection diagram of it. We have to take two transformer of same KV rating and test the polarity of this transformer and mark with dot. In my previous video, I have shown how to perform the polarity test of a single phase transformer. You can find the link in description or in this I button. First of all, the dot polarity of the transformer one is connected with the dot polarity of transformer two and another terminal of the primary side of the transformer one and two is connected together just like before the secondary side of the transformers are connected together now the primary side of the two transformer is connected with single phase supply and secondary is connected with load so this is the parallel operation and basic connection diagram of it now we have to connect these two transformer with ammeter wattmeter voltmeter and the load end ammeter wattmeter and voltmeter the primary side of the transformer one is connected with single phase variac Transformer 2 is connected with transformer 1 by maintaining the polarity of the two transformer and now secondary side of the transformer 1 is connected with an ammeter from ammeter it is connected with M terminal of the wattmeter from L terminal of the wattmeter it is connected with a paralleling switch now the second transformer secondary side is connected with another ammeter from ammeter it is connected with M terminal of the wattmeter the L terminal is connected with the another terminal of the paralleling switch now from that point it is connected with an ammeter it will measure the load current from that terminal it is connected with m terminal of the watt meter from l terminal it is connected with a load that is resistive load and from the load it is connected with another terminal of the secondary side of transformer one and that terminal is connected with secondary side of the transformer two now the v terminals of the watt meters are open so it should be connected with neutral terminal of the secondary side of the transformers and for measuring the secondary voltage and voltage across the load the voltmeters are connected across the load and secondary side of the transformers now we are ready for the test so first of all we have to connect the output terminals of the variac 
across the primary side of the transformer that is 230 volt side and I have connected the dot terminal of the first transformer with the dot terminal of the second transformer and the another terminal is connected with the another terminal of the second transformer and now you can see the one terminal of the transformer secondary side is connected in series with an ammeter from ammeter is connected with m terminal of the watt meter of the first transformer and mc sorted and the load terminal that means l terminal is connected with the mcb one terminal now you can see the another terminal of the second transformer secondary side is connected in series with an ammeter from ammeter it is connected with m terminal of the second watt meter of the second transformer the mc terminals of the watt meter is sorted and the load terminal that is l terminal of the watt meter is connected with another terminal of the mcb now the terminal is taken out from the mcb and connected with the one terminal of the ammeter the ammeter which will measure the total load current and from ammeter it is connected with m terminal of the main watt meter that means load end watt meter the mc terminal of the watt meter is sorted and from load terminal of the watt meter l terminal is connected in series with the load and from load it is connected with the another terminal that means dot terminal of the transformer secondary the two dot terminals of the two transformers are connected together and from that terminal it is connected with the v terminal of the watt meter one from that terminal it is connected with v terminal of the watt meter of the load end and that terminal is connected with v terminal of the watt meter two now you can see the transformer secondary side that means 115 volt is connected across the voltmeter of the first transformer and second transformer secondary side is connected across the another voltmeter so you can see all instruments are connected with the transformers and we are ready to operate the transformers in parallel now we have to set the variac in zero position and switch on the power supply of the variac you can see the indicator is glowing that means our variac is ready to give the output voltage now slowly move the knob and we have to set the input voltage to 230 volt for primary side of the transformer and and that's it our set voltage is 230 volt for primary side and the secondary side voltage of the first transformer is 110 volt and you can see the second transformer secondary side voltage is about 110 volt you can see when the switch is opened then only transformer 2 is supplying the load that means transformer 1 is not connected with the load that means these transformers not operated in parallel now and the load is only supplied by the transformer 2 and the voltage across the load is 112.9 volt and you can see as the first transformer is not connected with the load so the ammeter reading is zero and the second transformer is supplying the full load so the ammeter reading is about 7.7 .7 ampere here you can see the switch is in off position and at this condition the watt meter reading of the first transformer is zero watt that means no power is supplied by the transformer one and the second transformer is supplying full load that is 440 watt multiplied by 2 that is 880 watt and the total wattage of the load is about 400 and multiplying factor is 2 that is about 800 watt the reading of this watt meter and the previous watt meter should be same but the deviation is for the instrumental error and the ammeter reading of the load is about 7.4 ampere the reading of this ammeter is near about same of the ammeter reading of the transformer 2 here you can see the ammeter reading of the transformer 2 is about 7.7 .7 ampere so up to now the two transformer is not connected with the load and not parallel operated this transformer is inactive that means not supplying the load only this transformer is supplying the load and this transformer is idle 
this is the observation table when the paralleling switch is off that means the transformer 2 is active only and it is connected with the load and here is the circuit diagram when the paralleling switch is off now when we close the paralleling switch or switch on the MCB then the watt meter reading of the transformer 1 is about 300 multiplied by 2 that is 600 watt that means the transformer 1 is supplying 600 watt of the load and the watt meter reading of the second transformer is now oscillating so we will measure it later the watt meter reading when the two transformer connected in parallel that is total wattage supplied by the two transformer is about 440 multiplied by 2 that is 880 watt and the ammeter reading of the full load current is about 7.4 ampere and you can see the ammeter reading of the first transformer is about 4.8 ampere and second transformer is about 2.2 ampere the voltmeter reading of the two transformers secondary side is about same that is 110 volt the power supplied by the first transformer is about 600 watt and the current supplied by the first transformer is about 4.8 ampere and this transformer is supplying only 2.2 ampere load current and sharing the load of 155 multiplied by 2 that is 310 watt and the total power supplied by these two transformer is about 440 watt multiplied by 2 that is 880 watt and the total load current supplied by these two transformer is about 7.4 ampere by this resistive load you can see a fume is coming out from the rheostat that is very much hot so we have to take care when operating this rheostat and performing this experiment and now you can see the observation table when the paralleling switch is on that means the two transformer is now operating in parallel and the transformer one is now supplying the power of 68 percent of full load that means 600 watt of 880 watt and transformer two is now supplying only 35 percent of the load that is 310 watt of 880 watt the two transformer is not sharing equal amount of load because of the percentage impedance of the two transformer are different but the cave rating of the transformer same so the sharing of the load of the transformers are different the full experimental details and what to write in your lab copy is given in the link you can find the link in description for more videos like this please subscribe and till then stay tuned with us Jai Hind Jai Bharat